Hello, my name is Andrew Mariner. I'm an application specialist at CADPOINT and this short video today is going to be explaining the workflow from Navisworks into Lumion and how to produce a short video. This starts off inside of Navisworks. I'm going to open up a file. This is a heating plant and as you can see it contains both building services and also structural elements. And this file is already completed so all I have to do from here is to export this so that we can use it in Lumion. This is done with a simple export to FBX file. Once the file has been exported we can move over to Lumion. This is the starting screen inside of Lumion and as you can see there are several scenes inside of here to choose from ranging from uh, lakes and green fields. Today I'm going to use a scene which I've already prepared myself previously. And this is a small industrial scene which I've created with a few background houses just to give greater context to the model which we're going to be looking at today. Once we're inside of Lumion we can import the model. So I come down and add a new model and choose the file which I just exported from Navisworks. Now the file has been imported, I can place it with a simple drag and drop mechanism and I can use these files in any of my other projects in the future. I can see as I move away here that the concrete base which these uh, models were placed on has come in just slightly under my ground point. So I have several translation tools here which I can use to position the models as I bring them in and I'm just going to pull this up slightly to bring it above that ground point. Immediately after bringing it inside of Lumion, we can see much better detail than we could inside of Navisworks. We've got realistic lighting in here and shadows which give a much better feel for what the model is going to look like in the real world. The next process is to start adding and modifying the materials. The materials used inside Navisworks are quite basic and inside of Lumion we've got much more powerful tools. So I'm going to start by selecting the model and choosing to add a new material and just selecting items and applying materials to them. And Lumion has over a hundred material textures which cover concretes, woods, bricks, metals, tiles and grasses and I can select any of these to see what my model will look like. And Once I've done that We'll just click plus to add the next material. And go through adding materials onto my model as required. For this blue frame of the model I'm going to add on a metal texture. And as well as applying a metal texture to this I can also paint this material by coming to this RGB section here and adding on color as well and I'm going to make this a yellow color. As well as just colors we've also got various options in here for the brightness, scale, reflectivity of the parts which allow us to modify them to create a more realistic appearance as we require. Now that I've added some materials to this model I can start working on creating a video and this is done very simply inside of Lumion. Once I'm inside the video editing section I can select a clip and start recording. And the way we create videos inside of Lumion is to use keyframes. So we simply move to the position where we want to start our recording. Position the camera and take a photograph then move to the next position and take the next photograph and so on and Lumion will process for us all of the transitions between these various key frames to create a smooth animation Once I've completed this, 
I can click the play button to test that the videos are displaying as I intend. And as we can see here, this is displaying correctly. So I can finish watching the video and move on to the next scene. Once I've created several clips, I can then start adding on uh, special effects and video processing. If I come up to the effects button, and inside of here I've got various options for changing the reflections, the sun, various weather options, as well as ob object options for adding in motion or movement, blur or lens flare, and in this case I'm going to go to style and choose a fade in and out and I'm going to apply this effect to both of my scenes to add a better transition between the two videos. Now that I've finished making the two videos, I want to add in some start and finish pictures, which I can do very simply by moving each one of these scenes along, selecting the new empty space, and choosing to add an image in. You can not only add images into this, you can also add in videos from other programs or other scenes which you've created in different models. Now that the full video has been completed, we can click play and see what it looks like. This video has just been a very quick demonstration to show how quickly we can take a model from Navisworks, import it into Lumion, apply materials and effects and create a compelling video in just a few minutes. In addition to this, Lumion can also be used for architects, housing layouts and interior designs to create incredibly powerful and compelling videos in just a short time. If you're interested in seeing other uses of Lumion, please have a look at our YouTube channel where you can find many other videos covering different areas of the product.